problem. The station hand with a broken leg by the sounds of it means we're going to have to backtrack. If I had a dollar for every station hand I'd treated with a broken leg, I'd be a millionaire. Let's have a look at this. Tom. Good night, Chris. Good to see you again. Don't worry, Sam. How serious are the injuries, huh? Well, uh, Chris seems to think they're not too bad. She's just playing safe with the x-rays. Besides, she's got a second opinion. Who from? The patient. What would a patient know? A lot. <laughs> if he happens to be a certain Tom Callaghan. Dr. Tom Callaghan. How's the pain? Bearable. I think you'll probably be lucky and limp away from this with just a few stitches. Tell the doctor. What about you, Tom? What are you? How long have you been working on the station? Five, uh, six weeks. I see. I was coming in. You don't owe me any explanation. Nothing's the same anymore, Chris. Well, can't you tell them for me? No. Oh, come on, Tom, you know this town as well as I do. You still mean something to them. You can't expect to come back in the district and get away without having a few drinks down at the pub with them. Oh, there's a bit of a difference between a few beers down at the pub and an all-out bush bash. What's the matter with you? You like these people. They were part of your life. You know how they feel about you. You have an obligation to them as old friends. Nothing ever changes out here except the date. You're too good for us now, is that it? Of course not. Nothing like that. Look, they're expecting to see good old Tom Callaghan, the bush doctor without a care in the world. Well, he doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to disappoint them, Chris. If you ignore them, if you don't go, that's what's going to disappoint them. Welcome back, Doc. Thanks, Vic. Hello, Tom. Hey, Nance. Um, I, I don't anymore, Vic. Thanks. I've given up. Mate, one's not going to hurt you. None. Really. Well, uh, what'll it be then? Oh, you know, just uh, an orange juice would be fine. Thanks. An orange juice for the Doc, Nance. Good to see you back, mate. You do, Vic. Hey, on the house. Drinks on the house. Oh, it's good to have you back, Tom. Thanks, Nance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's a bit of a crowd around here. Yeah. Nothing like a free drink to bring out the best in Well, human nature, really. Oh, I didn't leave. Welcome back. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, nothing's changed much. Just a few new faces, that's all. Yeah. Otherwise, the same old boring Cooper's Crossing. As a leg. Oh, no, it's nothing, just a few stitches, that's all. A dozen stitches and you turn down the painkiller as well. It must be hurting. Oh, uh, well, would you excuse me? So what's a fully paid-up member of the AMA doing fixing fences? Hmm, that's what I'd like to know. Maybe there's more money in it. Broken fences make easier patients. Eritrea, wasn't it? Eritrea. Antigrain. What about the people? The patients. I mean, from a medical point of view, it must have been overwhelming. Eritrea was like... one big waiting room. I just can't imagine treating so many people. I mean, the sheer weight of numbers and the condition... Malnutrition's easy to cure. All it takes is a bowl of rice or a glass of orange juice. Sorry. I haven't had call to use my social skills for a while. 
think I shut that racket up, will you, for a second? All the good work that the doc's done in the past. Nance and the good ladies from the CWA have whacked on a bit of a spread for you. Oh, that's wow. fabulous, isn't that wonderful, <laughs> Nancy? Excuse me. <laughs> well, Tom, seeing as you are the guest of honour... I'm sorry. Yeah, so are we. If I embarrassed you, I'm sorry. I'm... You made your feelings clear. Man's a mug for not checking with you first to see if you even wanted a party. Oh, well, I'm just about to head off, so I thought I'd better settle up for the room. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, no, no. I prefer if you took what was owing. Twenty bucks, wasn't it? T take it, please. Thanks. Um, look after your leg. Hey, Tom. You're still the best damn doctor we ever had in this town, mate. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the ride. No, no problem. It's not as comfortable as the Nomad, but we'll get there. Thanks, Dave. Well, let's go. I don't want to miss the first race. Right. Uh, good luck. See ya. You seem to enjoy yourself last night. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm sure there's no harm done. Not long term, anyway. Yeah, I hope not. So, you looking forward to getting back to work? Fills in the time. You should take it easy. It's a nasty cut. Keep it clean and dressed. Otherwise, you'll get an infection. Why am I telling you that? Ah, oh, go ahead. Right now, I'm just a station hand. I've got to say, I don't really understand that. No? I couldn't give up my medicine for anything. Yeah. I used to think like that. And ask what happened? What you don't want to talk about? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. Unless you've been there, I don't think I can explain it. Sure. It's a bit stuffy in here. Thank <laughs> you. 